Hey guys. I'm so very glad you're here. Strawberry, that is. So I have this Murphy's Repellent Balm. It's got lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint, and cedar wood. We got this from uh, a battle box that we got back in, I don't know what it was, January maybe? January, February. So I thought I'd get it out. It's supposed to be deep free and plant-based. And it smells really good. Of course, you'd think so with all the lemongrass and the peppermint and the rosemary. With everything in it anyways so it's a stick and it smells good so i don't know what do you do just put it on your wrist like you do perfume i don't know put it up here it's better than that stinky spray but we need it around here it's terrible oh it smells so good though i feel better about putting this on than i do the other stuff Somebody just laid an egg. There. We'll see if it works. I'll let you know. So these are my wild strawberries that I let grow and just planted my uh, tomatoes in around. I have no idea if that's a good idea or not, but they're growing. They're growing very well. I got some, some suckers on here. You gotta get off. Those are those little Leaves that try to come in there in between. Oh, this one's a nice big long one right here. Take that off. Let's see if we got any more. I guess that one's all gone. Anyway, sidetracked by tomatoes. So these are my strawberries and I'm getting strawberries. I mean, they're not huge like you'd buy at the, you know, a strawberry place. But they're pretty big, fairly big, not too bad. I mean, for wild strawberries and they're good. And I've got some down here. Uh, there's one, in, there's a few actually, a couple in there. They're sweet and delicious. I got runners coming out everywhere, so I'm gonna have to Get those started and rooted, and maybe I won't have to buy strawberries. I can just keep doing this. Oh, there's a bunch in there too. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, there's like three of them in there. So that's really cool. It's not enough to have a meal, but it's a sweet snack when you come out to the garden. So I took some uh, bunny poop and that I collected around the yard and I put it on my peppers and they're really popping and growing. I didn't put it on all of them, but a lot of them I did like the smaller ones and they really have jumped. And I've also got a bunch with buds on them. This one's got a couple little buds there in the middle. So that's pretty exciting. This one too, it's got about four or five of them there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Everything's growing well. I've got uh, buds on my tomatoes. This is a bug. I'm gonna pull this leaf right off so I can show you. This is, it looks like a piece of dirt, but it's actually a tortoise, a tortoise bug, I think it is. I found them on my potatoes last year and now I just found this one on my tomato plant. That I'm not cool about. So actually this year I found some on my potatoes as well. And they're hard shelled. So you could still put your finger through it. So we're gonna get rid of that guy because I don't want him in my, in my garden because they eat the leaves. They make holes in the leaves. This is my potatoes. Look at my potatoes, guys. It's crazy. These are the ones that I got out of the uh, pantry. They are growing like hotcakes. 
And hopefully they're growing potatoes underneath there. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna have so many potatoes to, to um, can and put into soups and whatnot. Whoa, crazy, but I'm excited. I've got uh, buds on there, so buds on my potatoes. I have got scapes on my garlic. Look at that. I can't wait to make garlic scape butter. If you haven't done that or haven't seen that, I made a video about it. I will link that below in the description. It's so easy and so delicious to add to your meals, uh, you know, cook steak in it. Oh, just is so good. It's delicious. And you can freeze it and use it whenever you want. Our CBD plants are looking really good. I've been coming out and checking them. We have caterpillars around here and they've been nibbling on some of them. Actually, wow. See, I didn't even play in this. These bugs. See, there's a caterpillar right here. And they've been getting on there and they've been chewing on the leaves. So I've been coming out every day and checking them to make sure. Here's some leaves here. See, this one has been nibbled on. That's probably a caterpillar. Could be anything, but probably a caterpillar. There's another one on the back of that leaf right there. You see that? He's nibbling away, so he's going away. So part of having a garden is tending it, making sure stuff isn't building, laying eggs in your plants, uh, doing, you know, nibbling and munching where they shouldn't. This potato patch has been a little bit difficult to keep track of because it's just growing like hotcakes. But I think uh, for the most part, we're pretty well good with the bugs. The tomato plants are doing really well. I'm gonna have to stake those up because they're getting tall. A couple of these I did already. My carrots are growing like crazy. And like I said, these are doing really well. We've got something flying over. I just saw a nice big shadow. Who knows? This tomato plant is doing awesome in this grow bag. This guy was huge anyway. So um, yeah, that's growing good and it's got, got some buds on there, which is great. My, one of my uh, marigolds in the pot there, doing well. But this is where I found those tortoise bugs. I believe that's what you call them. I'll look it up. I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen if I did not get that right. But it's, I think it's a tortoise something or other. But anyway, they get on here and they'll eat holes in your leaves and they'll just keep eating until there's nothing left. So something's been on here eating because that one right there has got a ton of holes in it. But not really terrible damage because, again, I've been coming out every day and checking and making sure. And these are doing so well as well. Hopefully, hopefully they are growing potatoes in those bags. Got uh, some... Uh, this is a sunflower and my marigold and my borage. This borage, look at that. It's doing so good. This one is just huge. Look at this borage. Look at that. That's going to be so huge. So huge. I've got a bunch of ants all over my sunflowers. And something's been eating the leaves on this. And that could be the ants. I don't know. I haven't seen anything else. So, I'm not sure. Here's my zucchini. It's huge and growing well. And look at this. My female opened up and I pollinated it. Well, I told you guys I was going to have a zucchini right off. 
blossom opening up. This was the one that I showed you in one of my last videos. I'll link it above. There is the flower, beautiful flower in there. Now we're going to go ahead and pollinate it. So I've taken a male flower, plucked it off because you always have plenty of those. Got it down to just the stamen on the inside. And then I just take it and brush it on and get the pollen from the male onto the female. And that is now pollinated. This should now grow into a zucchini by hand. I don't know that it wasn't pollinated by something else. Somebody asked that. How do you know? I don't. It, but it doesn't hurt to repollinate it if it's already been done. I still have zucchini in the freezer that I got to take out. Scott informed me we haven't had zucchini bread in a while, so I'll make him some zucchini bread. But things are growing really well here. And besides a few little pests that I've been trying to keep up on, we've been doing pretty good. And I'm hoping it rains. It looks like it's going to up there. It keeps threatening and then the sun comes out. So we could really use some rain or I've got to water. But it's kind of late in the morning and it's pretty hot. So I don't want to do it right now. I'll wait till later this evening and then I'll water. We'll see what happens with that if it, we don't get any rain. We're coming out to a secret location, almost in the woods, where Yeti's hiding so that he can have a dust bath. So he can have it all to himself. Look at that. Dude, I caught you. <laughs> I caught you. Who's on duty? Chickens fend for themselves? <laughs> You're looking really guilty. Looks like a good spot. Uh-oh. One of the Isa Browns found you. Oh, she doesn't care. You silly chicken. Even roosters have to have a dust bath once in a while. Let's see if Bun wants a clover. Sometimes she'll she'll eat she'll eat it for me. Most of the time. Look what I got. Oh Is that good? She likes the leaves too. Mmm. And the stem. There's another leaf. Want that one? Yep. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> she said I'll take the whole thing. And Mr. Yeti showed up from his dust bath to hang out with the girls out on the lawn. Y'all cleaned up, buddy? You feel better? I think he does. The girls are all coming down out of the sun, getting in the shade, looking for bugs. We've got a terrible amount of caterpillars that have hatched out. There's some under that leaf right there. See that? They're awful and they're everywhere. They're all over the trees. You could see all the holes that they're putting all the way up. I don't know if you can see that if I get closer. Oh, the trees are just covered covered in them and they're eating the leaves up it's very strange and you can almost hear them chewing it's like I can hear a little 
It's just so many of them. It's crazy. You probably can't see it, but they are everywhere. And standing under here, I got stuff falling on me, so it's probably caterpillar poop. Who knows? And the chickens do eat them. So that could be why they're hanging out under here, too, is because they're getting some yummy food from it. But it's pretty scary. Has anybody seen the movie that uh, Stephen King made, The Langoliers? That's what it reminds me of. They're just eating away at everything. And the more you try to outrun it, the faster they eat and they come after you. I think I'm gonna need more chickens to eat more caterpillars. What do you think, Yeti? Yeti's up for it, anytime. you can guys see this or not but there's bun underneath the deck in the shade and she's stretched straight out with her little feet out I don't know if you can tell oh my gosh she does this on the lawn too in the evenings when the Sun goes down she'll lay in the shade and stretch out she's so funny she's so comfortable well, it's starting to rain here, which is good, so I won't have to water the garden if, as long as it keeps raining. But I wanted to update you guys on this Murphy's Naturals. It works really well, and it does keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, the flies still land on me and stuff, but they don't stay and stick around. So I would say this is really good stuff. Um, and it actually smells really, really good. So, and I like all the natural stuff in it. Not sponsored by this at all. Just wanted to let you guys know if you've got bug problems like mosquitoes and black flies, this seems to work. <laughs>